so clearing it in chunks. High above the waters of Australia's northwest, the latest recruit to the offshore oil and gas industry is on a training run. On board, a highly trained rescue crew led by Mick O'Grady. We're an all-weather uh, rescue service, so that can entail any operations from simply searching for people through to actually picking them up in any sea state, any conditions, day or night. Each week from this base in Broome, 330 people are transported to one of the most remote workplaces in the world, the oil and gas fields of the Browse Basin. And it's about to get even busier. Soon this region will be home to Prelude, Shell's giant floating liquefied natural gas facility currently under construction. With over 350 operators, having the right support is critical. So Shell Australia has introduced a new rescue service capable of responding to this region's extreme conditions. The conditions are anything from your standard uh, storm cell right through to uh, full category five cyclones. However, the aircraft is limited to uh, 60 knot winds or 115 kilometres per hour winds for winching operations. And we certainly get those conditions on the edge of the cyclone as we're evacuating. Manufactured by Airbus in France and operated by CHC, the EC-225 is one of the most advanced search and rescue helicopters in the world. Thanks to the auto hover system, paramedics like Scott Webster can reach almost any location. So I'm happy. Got the boat visual there. Our line is good. Easy left. Put you down. Step by the mark on top. You certainly have to have uh, total faith in the, the team. If you're on the end of a winch cable dangling, you know, 50 foot above uh, a moving vessel, it's scooting along at 10 knots, a whole lot of stuff can go wrong. Speed is good. There's a lot of highly motivated guys that are at the top of their field and um, I certainly as a rescue crewman uh, from that side of things feel completely safe and, and um, confident in, in what's going on. Okay, putting you inside the door and he's uh, secured onto a wonderly. Back on dry land, base manager Pete Gill's job is to make sure it runs like clockwork. So we have two pilots uh, available at all times. We have two engineers, we have uh, an air crewman uh, and we have two medics. So there's a team of six that are permanently sitting there, you know, waiting for a call out if required. This is the first time such a sophisticated rescue service has come to the northwest of Australia, and it's not just the oil and gas industry that will benefit. When available, the service will also provide much needed support to the local community. From here we can service a huge area across the, the northern part of Western Australia, so I think uh, Shell are providing um, a fantastic uh, service to the community and giving a little bit back, which is great to see. Now secure, closing up the right hand door. Roger. Clear to uh, return to base.